Hey guys, it's Amber, and today I'm going to show you how to do this awesome liquid glass glass effect in your designs. You can use this for beauty, mock-ups, notifications such as this one, or whatever your heart desires. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and reuse the photo that I had used before. It's just the new iOS update that I grabbed, and I replaced the background using Canva's background replace tools. So if you want to try on that, let me know. But we're going to duplicate whatever picture you chose and turn on the transparency. And this is just so we can line them up perfectly on top of each other. So when you see the picture on top very clear, that's how you know they're lined up. And then you can turn the transparency up all the way. Next on the top photo, which is the one we still have selected, we're going to click edit. And then we're going to click blur. Then we're going to, it defaults to brush. So we're going to change it to whole image. We're going to turn the intensity to maybe about like 40, like obviously this is whatever you prefer, so 40. And now the fun part, only using these side adjusters, we are going to bring the glass effect to where we want it to be. So don't grab it by the corners or else it'll resize the image and you'll lose your blur. But once you have it where you like it, go ahead to the stroke style and type in one. This will default it to the normal line right here, and then I like to turn it white, selecting that color tool. Now you could leave it pointy, but to get that modern look, I go to corner rounding, and I turn on the corner rounding. Now, this is the glass effect already, and then to make it look like a notification, I just typed in X, turned this one white to go with my white outline, and then you can add any text you want, such as, I just did something iOS related, because that's what my design looked like, but you can put anything. So we have a liquid glass here, and then I'm going to turn down the line spacing, and then I'm just gonna edit the spacing a little bit on this one. And I like to align it with the X if possible, which could be a little tricky, but there you go. It was super easy, took literally less than five minutes, and you can make so many cool things with this. So if this was helpful, make sure to like this video, follow, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.